this video, we're going to be starting on our uh, server selector. So we're going to do that first by modifying our widget here. I'm going to close modify. So we're going to have it so when we click join server, it's going to bring us to the page of a, pretty much a server list. And that's going to allow us to click on search for servers, and that's going to fill the scroll box. So we can start that now by finding a widget switcher under panel, drag that onto the canvas panel, then I'm going to drag a canvas panel inside of the widget switcher. So I'm going to anchor our switcher to the center, just make it decently big, about like that. Let's do, let's do 950 by uh, 600. Let's see, that's half of 950, 825, that is not half of that, wait, not 825, uh, 425, all right, that's not half of that either, half of 600 is 300, so I got that one, 950, 475, all right, now it's centered. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to put these inside of the canvas panel, like so, and minimize it. Now we're at another canvas panel inside of the widget switcher. I'm going to call this canvas panel CP underscore main. I'm going to call this one CP underscore join, and then when we get to the create server section, We'll do that. So we have cp underscore join. Let's do that a scroll box. Anchor that to the middle and get our sizing right. Something like that. So 500. By, eh. Yeah, we'll do 400. It's negative to. Come on, brain. Negative 250. It's 440 in the morning, so I'm exhausted. Negative 200 to get centered. I want to bring it up a little bit, so we're doing negative 300. All right, that's a little much, so 250. That's good. Now we can have some buttons. I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to copy this button. Change the text to search for server. Er, refresh servers. Just make the button a little bigger. I'm also going to copy that and make another one. And I'm going to call this one back. So, button B underscore server back. This one's going to be called B underscore refresh servers. Compile and save. Add an on click for refresh servers. Add an on click for back. And I want to rename our widget switcher. So WS widget switcher switcher. Good enough. So when server back is pressed, we want to go to index zero. So we're going to go switch by or set active widget index, just zero because we want to the main menu. When we click join server, whoops. We 
we're going to switch that to 1. Alright, so let's give a quick test. I need to go back to our tutorial map. Dot server, come to here, go to back, go back. So that's good. Okay. Trying to think real quick of what else we need to do just in this little section. Alright, I can't think of anything, so let's do a little bit of renaming. Let's change this one to B underscore server list. Call this one view servers. Uh, I'll deal with the C++ code later to clean that up, so it's not just calling joint server. We're actually going to call it refresh and stuff like that. Right, so we have all this. Alright, I think we're good. Now let's make another widget. Let's call this one server slot. And I want to delete the canvas panel. I can add a grid, grid panel with text in it. Then we're going to go over here to fill screen. We're going to set that to desired. All right, so our first thing in text. Change this one to tb underscore server name. Set it as a variable. Add another one. Xbox underscore players. It's going to be in that format. And I want to use the column. I want to go over to the column one, like that. And I want to give our, this little padding on the right. So let's do 20. Separate a bit. Just a little more. 40. And we're just going to have the server name and the current slash max players for now. Delete the tick, delete the pre construct and the event graph. And this is essentially where we're going to be spawning and adding to our scroll box SB underscore server list. Let's assign the variable to our scroll box. And I think we are good. And yep, anything new we will deal with in the next video. So now we have our widgets set up. So we have our scroll box and our items that we're going to be adding into those scro that scroll box. So now we have that done. I will see you in the next one.